Amazon is trying very hard to make a name for themselves in the gaming industry. So far, they have only experienced failures here. It could be because the higher ups at Amazon don't have a clear grasp of understanding as to how to make a game appealing to the player base. The Bloomberg article here shed some light about the higher ups at Amazon, stating that Mike Frazzini, who started Amazon Game Studios, has never made a game in his life. Mike Frazzini sees Amazon Studios like a tech company, setting unattainable targets for the developers working under him. Amazon Studios did try to chase trends like making a battle royale game like Fortnite called Intensity, which was cancelled in 2019, taking inspiration from Overwatch and launching Crucible, which also failed miserably. Amazon announced Lord of the Rings MMO in 2019, but it got cancelled as Tencent bought Leo Technologies and the contract negotiation failed. The only game in development at Amazon Studios is called Newell, but even that game is getting criticized after the recent announcements regarding the monetization schemes for that game. Keep in mind here Newell is not a free to play game. It will charge $40 for the base game and also charge additional money for future expansions. The statement provided by Rich Lawrence, Amazon Studios director, didn't spark joy among players. He said that the studios will look at different ways to offer quality of life items for mechanics like XP and fast travel. That's right, they want to sell players fast travel packs for a premium game. They are also planning to add battle pass for the game but that decision hasn't been finalized yet. Rich has assured players that the battle pass will not disrupt the gameplay of those not participating in it. Reputation of Bethesda is not at its best among gamers and critics alike. After the bad launch of Fallout 76, as Microsoft acquired Bethesda, I do expect them to release polished games from now on. One such game is Starfield, announced back in June 2018. We still don't have any idea when it's gonna release, but we do have some leaked screenshots though by WCCF Tech. Twitter user SkullZ did confirm the leaked screenshot but stated that it was from early 2018 build. The leaked screenshot show that the character has some sort of shotgun equipped and also has a stamina bar. Interesting. According to the journalist Jeff Grubb, he did confirm that Starfield will be an Xbox and PC only exclusive. Rumors are starting to spread about the release date of this game. But Jason Schreier confirmed that Starfield is not complete yet, but will be at this year's E3. He provided additional info stating that Starfield's team was very small until 2019, as the bulk of Bethesda Game Studios worked on Fallout 76 until it's launched. Jason Schreier has a track record of having reliable insiders and reports accurately about game developments. That's it for this time in gaming. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment down below what you think about Bethesda's decision of not releasing Starfield this year and also share your thoughts as to whether or not Newell will live up to the expectation of gamers or not.